So, what do you have to say? I'm excited. Where are you going? Russia. Where in Russia? No, okay, let's talk a small talk. I packed nine days worth of outfits in a carry-on. That's my biggest accomplishment ever. Good night, Moskva. I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning! What are we gonna do today, babe? Not much since we slept for 13 hours and burned most of the day. We slept for 13 hours. Lunch time. Baby, you know what my favorite part of Russian food? Chorny chleb. So good. Chorny chleb translates to? To chorny chleb. Up with this weather, Russia. Babe, what are we gonna do? Well, right now, we're gonna go try to book a room for you. Uh... Oh my god, yes! I'm trying to book a meet and greet uh, for Saturday because I got so many requests for it. So, we're gonna try to book a room with a hotel, which I'm really excited about. And if it's gonna happen, then obviously I'm gonna vlog about it. I'm in Russia! Ask me something. You want me to ask you something? Yeah. So, what, what's your first opinion? What's your first opinion really about pretty. Moscow? Even yeah, it's, though it's like it's shitty really, weather? Yeah. I f Do you feel it's like an alternate universe that everybody here speaks Russian and we speak Russian like, like we speak Russian like small children and they think we're kind of stupid? Yeah, we, we speak stupid Russian. Are we like reverse Borats? I think so. We're like Borats in this country. <laughs> Oh, that's so pretty. We just found out that there's no tax in Russia. It's party time. An animal in its natural habitat. 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 Везде gold. Как gold по русски? Золото. Babe, do you know any songs in Russian? No, I don't know any Russian songs. Do you know what song reminds me of this weather? What? Zima, Halada, Adinoki, Zama, Maria, Garada. I know I know a song, can I sing it? It's yeah. dirty though. No, it's dirty. Oh no, no, I it's know. It's the dirty one. song. You know the dirty song the that I like. The one? Yeah, the Gryazny Shlushki one. No! Oh, is that the Kremlin? I don't know. I think yeah, I think we're rolling up on the Kremlin. I think that's the Kremlin. It's either the Kremlin or a church. They all look the same to me. No, it's a Kremlin. We are such morons. We just walk around reading all the names on the stores. Let's see. Crispy cream. Crispy cream. Crispy cream. Look at that. How do you like my Russian reading skills? Oh, I'm a superstar. Crispy cream. Oh, look at this place. Look. Boss. Oh, huh? look. Babe, that's English. Relax. Boss. Huh? <laughs> Like I could do it, babe. Right now I could do it, but there's no people. There's like a corridor right now. Okay, let's go take some pictures. It's lunch time now. We at Vol Cafe. Babe, can you imagine if my mother never left Russia and I would have grown up here? Thank you.
Oh look, they give you initial. Yeah, we should own initials on it. <laughs> The fact that the place is called Boat Cafe means nothing. So fancy. I'm eating traditional Russian. You're eating salmon tartare. It's a bien That's what I'm talking about. So we are walking to dinner because the traffic here is so crazy. It's faster to walk uh, to a restaurant that we are have plans to go to rather than drive. So. Watch Thank you. Gary's saying that if he had a chance to move here for six months to a year, he would with the kids. Why? Why would you want to move here? I, Not in like a bad way, but it's I just like think it would be a good experience for us and for the family to be in a different culture, and our Russian would be way better than it is now. Our Russian will be better. <laughs> Just finished dinner. I never filmed during dinner. But I feel like I'm comfortable. Why are you embarrassed of what you're reading? I'm embarrassed of like, I don't know. I don't want our, our friends to be embarrassed. Anyways, look how beautiful this city is. Our now. friends are all in the entertainment business. So pretty. I'm trying to convince Gary to come to go to the opera or to the ballet in the Bolshoi theater, but he's like, no, he no. said that he's rather to slit his wrist. <laughs> Slash my wrist. Slash your wrist. You know where we're going? Yeah, straight. Good morning, guys. So we finally decided to do the Moscow meetup, but we're trying to post it on social media. Um, we tried to translate the message into Russian, but it sounds like a bore at Russian. So we actually got our server to help us and translate it. Yay for us! So I'm so excited for this meetup. I hope people show up or it's gonna be like, you know how in the movies there's like the birthday parties where no one shows up? It might be one of those. Yeah, it might be, <laughs> but it's okay. Will you comfort me if it happens? I won't be there if it happens. What do you mean? If you won't show up, up either? If nobody shows up, I'm just gonna leave. Relax, I'll be there. I'm looking for a husband, if anyone knows anybody. <laughs> Breakfast. This is Draniki, right? Yeah. That's what they say. Yeah. Smitano. <laughs> Egg. Salmon. Matcha latte. Guys, guess where we are? We're the tattoo parlor. Why have you decided to do this right now? I don't why? Know. We've had this discussion a million times. So. I know, but why? when we come to Moscow, why won't you do it in Toronto when you know that if something goes wrong, you can go and sue somebody? I'm so scared, babe. Maybe I should get one too. Sure. My mother will kill me. Show everybody your tattoo. I didn't get it yet because I'm still thinking about it. The guy was like, okay, let's go. And Gary's like, no, I'm just thinking, let I'm me. thinking about it. Let me think about it. I'll, we'll about go it. for a walk and we'll come back. Not. Okay, guys, look at this burger. And we got black gloves to eat it with. That's this craziness. Are you ready? Ready. Put your gloves on. Operation Burger. <laughs> done eating our monster burgers that I couldn't even lift it was so heavy but now we got to the dessert look at this oh my god this is crazy okay now it's time to eat where'd you where'd you get this from where'd black you get star oh my god it's so good there's caramel in it you got it from black star burger yeah nice okay bye okay day number four breakfast time we have our blinchiki and ikra. Okay, today is the meetup. I'm so excited. Um, I'm gonna go do my hair right now, like a blow dry, because it doesn't look good. <laughs> okay, let's go. What did you ask me? What should I wear? To my meetup. To your meetup. But it's about me. Yeah, but what? You want your husband to look like an idiot? 
I'm so excited. Yay! Do you think they're gonna like me? Yes. This is really exciting. It's really funny that my first meetup, um, my first ever meetup is in Russia, in Moscow, and not in Toronto, my home city. But um, I am beyond, beyond grateful and so, so excited. This is so weird for me. Um, and I can't believe that people are taking the time out of their day to come and meet me. I'm so shocked that people take time out of their day to even watch my videos and comment. But <sighs> this is beyond. So I'm really proud of myself. I'm really proud of myself that I have such an amazing audience. Um, that I attract such positive uh, beautiful inspiring people that's like I think the biggest reward for me no? yeah this okay. is where I'm gonna okay. sit yeah. this is so weird <laughs> oh my goodness first uh, person that came is Nastya hi and you know what's crazy he lives in uh, Israel yep but your parents live in Russia yeah in Moscow that's crazy. And you arrived yesterday? Yeah, I arrived yesterday. Oh my god. <laughs> it makes me like so excited. Totally bananas, huh? I know. <laughs> she said that she saw that I put the like the announcement that I'm gonna be here, so she's like, Am I gonna miss it? That's so yeah. amazing. That's so cool. So many girls. So many girls that um, I follow and I see what you guys are into, like you know, journalism or um so do we have a brain surgeon in the room? There's, you don't understand. This is like we can rule the world only from this room. Um, so political science, right? Political science. Okay. Hi everyone. Hi. What's your name? What's your name? Hi. What's your name? <laughs> Anuka, Anuka. Your name is Jake. Can you say hi to everybody? Uh, hi. You don't know which decision to make, and you just don't know whether you should be this or this. And how do you deal with doubt? I just try to kind of break it down. Um, I think that again, this thing that I've been using with this future self um, helps me with a lot of things. I think about the decisions that I make or if the things that I do today or the actions or the people or everything like if this is going to make me grow and become that person because I see that person that I want to be. I see what I want to accomplish. I see everything. So I make a lot of those decisions based on that, you know what I mean? And not like based on ego or um, that kind of feeling at a time. Maybe I had a bad day and I make the wrong decision. I always like, okay, snap out of everything that happened to me today. And I have this decision decision to make. I'm like, will future Valeria will benefit from it? Okay, we're celebrating because we are shocked about everything that happened. It was so much fun. Babe, did you have fun? I had an amazing time. I was just blown away by how much love there was and how, how these girls look to you for inspiration and everything. I, I'm just, I'm, I'm amazed. You were the best husband ever. They were like in shock. Sam asked to take pictures with Gary. <laughs> Yeah. They said you are like the best husband ever. That's what they said. You are. <laughs> Thanks, babe. I tried. It was amazing. Hi, my love. Hi, boo boos. Hi, Benitska. What a beautiful day. So we finished uh, Enzo's birthday party, which was so much fun. And now we decided to walk to what? What's the name of the park? Gorky Park. Um, it's apparently is beautiful, but honestly, I just want to walk around all day long because it's 7:30. It's 8 p.m. and look how bright it is outside. Wow. Another day, another meal. 
I'm obsessed with eating blinchiki here. Babe, you're just taking pictures of empty plates. Why wouldn't you do the video before? Because I needed to eat it first. Do you like your blinchiki? So you just took, yeah, but you're just taking videos of empty plates. How is that even making sense? It's okay, babe. My followers have imagination. What is this? What are you doing? I'm dancing to the Russian music. This place is so beautiful. So the Kremlin was a fail. But we're going to the opera, yay! I'm so excited for the opera. I can't wait. I hope they have comfortable chairs that I can sleep on in the opera. Stop, we have to be at least culture a little bit. Why don't you be culture? Why can't I just be me? Why are you trying to change me all the time? You can, I'm not trying to change you, I'm trying to better you. Was I cultural when we got married? No, so but I saw something to work with. <laughs> But why do I have to be cultural? Why can't I just be like the cool guy that I am? Babe, you can take some cough syrup and go to sleep. I'm gonna watch the opera. Sorry, but I have to be at the opera, right? Yeah. You want me to sleep at the opera? I can go by myself. It's a very expensive, uncomfortable bed for a two hour nap. Stop complaining, it's giving you wrinkles. We are getting ready to go to the opera. I did not pack thinking we're gonna go to the upper so I constructed an outfit did my own makeup I think I'm gonna go down on the slip a little bit and uh, yeah Gary's like dreading it he's so not interested in going I'm, I'm excited I know the opera is two and a half hours let's hope we're gonna get through the first act <laughs> wish us luck let me show you what I'm wearing. You know this trend now where you wear like dresses and un there's t-shirt under. So I decided, I mean, I can't put a t-shirt under. But I'm going to put the silk button down. And um, thank God I brought my new shoes and this tool dress. And um, yeah, it's like girly, cute. And then I'm going to put my red jacket on top of it. Like this. Cute. My hair is dirty, but I made it work, putting it back. And um, that's it. I'm ready to go. A night at the opera. started trying to get in with him and the old dude's like what are you, what are you doing why are you getting with him anyways it's really confusing they made us check in our luggage <laughs> my eyes are open but i'm actually sleeping <laughs> we didn't even sleep we came home at what time like 12 we packed and we left to the airport we slept in the cab on the way in the Uber on the way. How long have we been away? Long time. Long time. We have I, to I haven't stop. slept since I haven't slept since the opera. <laughs> the opera was amazing. I'm so happy we went. 
and uh, we have um, we have two connecting flights, so that's why we got upset. Tell them why we have two connecting flights. Because of me. Tell them, explain the situation. Because I messed up with the visa anyways. Okay, one flight is down. We have two more to go. So, I wanted to talk about my father. Now? Yeah. I think you're too tired now. You're gonna get a muscle. I won't. I promise. So we were supposed to meet and um, he told me that he, I told him I had some visa issues so I told him once I'm in the country um, I'm gonna give them a call and we can figure it out. He's been calling my mom like every day to see what's going on and like he was saying how he wanted to meet me. So we get to Russia, let him know that I'm there um, and um, he said okay let me see what I can do I need to book a ticket because it's not in Moscow he had to fly in I didn't wait I don't want to say I was waiting for him to call but I felt like it was we already like expected to meet him you know yeah. and then he called me um, like two days after our arrival and he said um, you know what this time it's not gonna work out I got called for work so I won't be able to come and he's like, let's keep in touch. And I'm like, sure. You know, and you know my opinion on the matter. And that's it. I cry. I cried a little bit um, after he called, which was so weird because, like, I didn't think that I was that emotional about it. But I think that maybe, you know, it kind of built up to be something bigger than that. Or maybe I have some issues that, like, you know, it's. I'm just tucking away and it like kind of came to the surface. We should see, we should see a professional. I don't want to see a professional. Why? Everyone has daddy issues. That's it. I'm like not interested in keeping in touch with him to be honest with you. You've, What's never, the point? you've never met him. Before. Yeah, um, you know, I haven't uh, met the guy. I don't know him and I probably won't. So it's fine. That's it. I'm sorry. I feel like I should have had this like... I thought I'm gonna have this... Story, you know? Well, you would have had a story if you would have met, but you didn't meet him, so... There's no story to be had. That's your story. He called and he said that he can't make it and that he's uh, busy with work, which I think is bullshit, but... Whatever. Yeah. And that's it. So, if you guys have any other questions about that, let me know. Close the chapter because, you know what, he had a chance and um, and it's just, you no, know, he didn't want it bad enough, I guess. And that's it. So, after telling you about my loser biological father, <laughs> Um, I decided to open the letters that uh, the girls at the meetup gave me and um, I mean they make me so much happier so I wanted to share with you some of the letters uh, there's one girl that I actually I mean I remember her um, she was just writing how she came to study medicine in Moscow and she's from Malaysia and um, you know I mean moving to a new country with whole other rules and culture is so difficult and uh, I'm so proud of her for doing that and she was just saying how um, you know now she's practicing in, um, in medicine and she decided to do it in Russia instead of Malaysia and she was saying how my videos made her um, want to face her fears and do things that scare her instead of you know staying in the comfort zone and when she's having bad days, she just goes and watches one of my videos and um, it helps her to take control of her day. And that's so amazing. Thank you so much. You gave me a suggestion for a podcast, which is so sweet. And um, I hope I'll see you again, Michelle. That was so awesome.